What's up people? My name is Jack. Welcome back to another video. If you're new here, I upload daily content based around video editing, videography, and how to make money making videos. Subscribe if any of that sounds interesting to you. Today we're kicking it off with how to get free templates for Adobe Premiere Pro. I'm going to do a couple follow-ups to this video called, you know, how to get free After Effects templates, how to get free DaVinci Resolve templates. All of those could be gotten from this site, so... Let's do it. Without further ado, let's get straight into the video. Let's show you how to get these free templates through a website I only found out about a couple days ago. On screen right now is motionarray.com. Motionarray.com is a resource site, an asset site, a PAX site, whatever you want to call it. Uh, as you can see here, they say over 8,774 files added in the last 30 days. So if you go to everything, you could see they offer royalty-free music, sound effects, stock video, stock motion graphics, stuff for all these different individual programs, Final Cut, DaVinci Resolve, After Effects, Premiere Rush, Motion Graphic Templates, Premiere Pro, whatever. Obviously, because of the title, we're going to be focusing on Premiere Pro Templates. So what you want to do is go to Premiere Pro Templates and let's actually literally just click search. And what that's going to do is give us all the Premiere Pro Templates. As you can see, it says there is one uh, 15... Uh, fucking hell, 159,636. Um, I was trying to figure out what's going on there because they don't have the apostrophes. But once you load up all these, which 156,000, that's a lot, obviously. They're not all free. What you want to go to is filters, results, right? Pay attention to that on the side. Scroll down, click free items. Now we've entered the free world. So all these are free. Unique titles, British style logo, snow paper logo, snow paper slideshow. You can click play. On all of these up here, two seconds. Let me actually just mute up the uh, the thing so I'm not getting too much crazy stuff and we can just watch these. There's a Merry Christmas one, free Instagram story kind of highlight type of stuff. You want a stylish Instagram story? Download this. No time to create. You want free templates? Boom. Introducing 10 free stories. There you go. So there's stories there. There's, there's everything, more or less. So what I want to do is I want to download a pack and I want to run through this with you, okay? And um, let's let's see what goes down more or less, okay? Let's actually see what we want. I just want to actually find one that's kind of pretty cool looking. You've got the unfolding titles right there. Unfolding titles looks kind of cool to be honest. Let's give it a play so we can see what's going on. And actually, we'll actually just click on this to open it up. And let's actually have a look. So it says presents digital Premiere Pro template. Let's actually just skip in a little bit. So these are all just kind of motion graphic templates or, uh, you know, text animations. Pretty cool. I'm liking it. It looks like a pretty cool pack. As you can see here, the unfolding titles is perfect. Adobe Premiere Pro template, but it gives a small thing. We want to just click download right there. And what they're actually going to ask you to do is create a free account. Totally all good. Everything's fine when you create this free account. What I'm going to do is actually just go ahead and log in. Log in because I've already created my free account. And, uh, you know, my current plan is the free one. There are monthly ones, but like I said, if we're only going for the free stuff, it's absolutely fine. And, uh, you know, we'll be able to download a whole bunch of stuff. So I've logged in. Um, now that I've logged in, it uh, looks like they've took us to the beginning. Probably would have made sense to log in first. It's all good. We just have to scroll down here and find um, our template again after we select free items. And uh, let's literally just find the unfolding titles and, uh, you know, let's, let's download it. So I'm actually going to click back over here. I click download and it's literally just going to download down here as you can see. So obviously just create, a, create an account, confirm your email and then boom, download as it is right here. This is one memobyte right here. Okay. So that's the, the beauty of this is technically um, on the, on the uh, account settings, you can only download a gigabyte every 30 days. But if you know, presets and templates, they're pretty small, a lot of them. So one memobyte, honestly, that's one, one out of a thousand of the, of the memobytes that go into a gigabyte. You know what I mean? I don't even know the exact amount, maybe 1.2 uh, thousand memobytes or whatever. But now that we've actually installed that, let's actually open up a folder that I have over here called freebies, which accidentally I just clicked off of. Open up the freebies folder, drag this into the freebies folder, just like that. And uh, we're actually gonna right click it, go extract here, and it's gonna extract right there. Double click it again. And uh, first off, we want to actually be aware of the font. So if we actually go to font link, the fonts are pretty important. Um, right here, if we literally just right click uh, or if we control click, it should open it up in our folder up here. Should should open up. Um, if it didn't, we'll load it back up and uh, click it again. Have a look what goes down. Okay, it opened on my other window, my bad. 
and uh, it'll bring us here. We can then download the font that it's been created in. You do have to download the font or else like you naturally will just run into some problems. If you click download for free, you can then download the font. Personally, I actually have this font installed as it says one right there. So we're all good. I don't need to install it, but installing font, very easy. You simply go to the Windows folder and just, you know, drag and drop the stuff in there. Um, next up, what you want to do is go to Premiere Pro. So let's actually bring Premiere Pro over here and then let's actually open up our folder let's go to the premiere tab and we can actually select the unfolding titles 4k or the unfolding titles normal let's select the normal just in case the lag happens i want to make this as smooth as possible it says that the project was saved from a previous version no problem at all the only problem is when it's made on a version that's above yours but if you're using the up-to-date premiere most of these are going to be absolutely fine all of them are going to be absolutely fine let's click this let's open it up and uh so right now it looks like it's just lagged a little bit it's opened us up into this kind of audio window. Let's go back to editing. And uh, let's actually just wait for the preview window over there to load up. It's having a little bit of a problem, I guess, because I'm already recording my screen at the same time. We'll come back when it's fixed itself. All right, we're back and it is working. The preview window just glitched out for a minute because uh, Premiere Pro can't wait to crash even when you're not doing anything else that's kind of stressful to the computer. So when you're doing something else that's stressful to the computer, like recording the screen like this, Premiere Pro glitches out 10 times more, but we're back with the project working and this is it. So we've loaded it up. Everything so far has, uh, you know, gone relatively smoothly. That was a little bit weird right there. I had to literally wait like five, 10 minutes off, off camera for the thing to actually come back on, close the project, all type of stuff. So hopefully these projects don't glitch your, your Premiere out too much. But when we actually load this up, we have actually acquired free, 100% free motion graphic templates. And just like that, you've got these unfolding titles. You got about 10 of them and they all unfold in a different way. And uh, you know, something like this off of Video Hive could be, could be 20 bucks, could be $15, something like that could be 30 bucks. You know, Video Hive, the, the sort of the main premium video uh, website, if you will, you know, stuff like this is all available there as well, but it's all paid. So, you know, no doubt if you pay more, you might get something a little bit, a little bit doper. But as far as just kind of cool presets and templates go, this site has you covered. This site is really doing good. Motionarray.com um, is, is doing relatively good. So what I want to do is actually just go ahead and customize one of these. So these are all straight projects, right? So we can double click and then we can actually see that, uh, you know, we can actually customize these. If we go all the way in, we end up getting to text and we can actually double click that text and load up this wall right here or this kind of scene, if you will. And then, uh, you know, I haven't even done this yet. So we're doing this 100% together right now. I could change the title and just say uh, example title here and uh, go ahead and just pop that one, close this down, go back to the final sequence. And then we actually, if we give it a play, our text has actually added itself. So let's kind of look for another kind of cool one, I think, right? Um, if you're here, that's kind of cool. The one that folds out like that is pretty cool. That one is the one that I like a lot. So if we actually click on this again, double click again, double click again, it loads up here. And we call this the one I like a lot. <laughs> the one I like a lot. Um, and then we actually have the position over here. So we can actually bring that over by going on the X position and just bring that over to the kind of center because it does shift it over a little bit when we do that. And just like that, we've called this one the one I like a lot. It looks like we do have a color control over here as well. So potentially, yep, we can change the color. Awesome. So this is the controls right here. They do give you a variety of different controls. The background, these these aren't turned on, but the fill is definitely turned on. Um, and it's looking awesome, honestly. I think this right here is very, very simple to customize. That's also a key factor in actually using templates is you want it to be easy to customize. You don't want some kind of long lengthy process. Um, and also they do not animate shut. So they actually just animate on and then I guess you could potentially reverse it if you wanted to uh, to animate it off as well. Um, and also, if I'm not mistaken, which I'm 100% I'm assuming this right now, if we actually go ahead and just throw this, uh, throw something underneath it, right? I'm assuming that they're transparent and that they uh, you know, are um, you know, alpha layers behind so that we can actually potentially put something underneath it, right? So I'm literally just going to import this random set of clips from my editing contest, throw it underneath. And yep, just like that, we actually, you know, are able to just throw anything we want below the layer. And then just like that, 
it uh, is actually going to, you know, be alpha, uh, in which case, you know, it, uh, it, it obviously doesn't have any black around it or anything like that. And it just goes completely transparent and overlays on whatever we have uh, in the background. And then I'm actually just going to add some shadow to it pretty nicely. We have actually added some shadow to it. It looks like it might have thrown off the position a little bit. Um, but overall, I think that's looking dope. Obviously, you kind of need a little bit of shadow to, uh, <laughs> to you know, to make it actually work, uh, you know, it's to make it actually kind of stand out ideally, right? Um, but just like that, we've actually created ourselves some absolutely free motion templates, um, motion graphic templates. And just like that, you know, we've got these folding uh, text right here that you've got. And, uh, you know, you've got all the other options as well, the unfolding title, you know, the this next one, I, li I like that one a lot as well. And um, honestly, let's go back to motionarray.com, boom motionarray.com, bada bing, bada boom. This is looking so, so useful in terms of just a place where you can get cool templates for free. I only found out about this the other day. You can honestly use this for client work, all type of stuff. God damn it, get out of here with all this nonsense, with all this, uh, with all this noise. Get out of here. All right, there we go. <laughs> uh, you know, the fact that this right here is free and this could literally be a client project. You could just customize this for a client potentially. Say they want some sort of corporate opener and, you know, you obviously put all their images in there. You put all their, uh, you know, text in there and everything like that. But I mean, like, you know, this, this right here could be several hundred dollars you could be paid to just customize a template like this. And, um, you know, a lot of the time clients will literally tell you, hey, I just want you to customize a paid template. You know what I mean? And, uh, you know, you could actually go ahead and do that, customize some stuff for them. You've even got some, let's have a look, free Adobe Premiere Pro transitions. So you've got this transition pack. That's looking pretty dope. Uh, you know, there's so much dope stuff here. It's looking like this is like a RGB kind of transitions or a glitch transitions. Um, and I'm, I'm literally discovering this as we go right now with you guys. So, uh, you know, <laughs> we're, we're figuring this stuff out together at the end of the day. Um, awesome site. I'm always trying to hook you guys up with a good deal. And, uh, you know, for free, this is 100% a good deal. You're literally losing nothing. It's fucking free. There's a whole nother thing called Premiere Pro presets as well, which if we untick Premiere Pro templates, you got LUTs here. Look at this. 14 creative LUTs. Literally awesome. Boom. You know what I mean? If you're looking for some easy color grades, there you go. They're hooking you up with some pretty dope LUTs by the look of it. You got some Premiere Pro presets for free right here. This is looking like some title presets, some handheld camera presets. So it's looking like some camera movement stuff. Very dope for adding a little bit more life to your, you know, to your edit right there. I'm literally watching this right now before, and then it's doing a little after. Nice. So it kind of does look like it's being held. <laughs> Boom. That's done and dusted right there. Thank you guys for tuning into today's video. I'm really glad you did. Um, honestly, this is a deal. Why not check it out? Why not download a few things? And, uh, you know, if you do, I mean, good for you. Hell yeah. You've succeeded in getting something for free, which stuff similar to it is paid. <laughs> Everybody wins. Thank you guys for watching the video. I'm a Jack. If you're new here, I upload daily, yes, daily content around video editing, videography, and how to make money making videos. Subscribe if that sounds interesting to you. If it doesn't, no worries, but you've made it to the end of a video in a category that you have just said you don't like. It's kind of weird. You're wasting some time. Subscribe. Thanks for watching. Later.